Disney was the first job where I wore my own hair to work. I remember going to the, getting the interview and thinking to myself, looking at my wig in the corner, do I really want to wear her? Mm, maybe I, I don't, I don't. I'm not going to wear her because I want Disney to see the real Megan. I don't want them to see any kind of smoke and mirrors. I want them to see the value that I bring to the table. So I didn't wear the wig. I wore my own natural hair. And from then on, I've always worn my natural hair to Disney. As a little kid, I used to think that everybody in the state of Florida worked for Disney. Disney was that big. So whenever we would come here, I would think to myself, wow, I wonder what they do at Disney. Hmm. I love the fact that I became a cast member during the 50th anniversary. I feel like that's super on time to what Walt really wanted out of my life. And it just, everything just really came together. Uh, I remember coming on board and Disney had put out this fifth key called the Key of Inclusion. I've never seen something like this at any other company I worked for, where they are actively telling you that you are enough and what you bring to the table we like. We don't want you to change anything about yourself. And to me, that key meant a lot, especially as a, a black woman, you know, coming in, I don't have to pretend to be anybody I'm not. Um, my coworkers love to hear about my heritage and I love to hear about theirs. And when they put the badge, something happens when they put the badge on. For the first time I felt pride in the company. You work so long to get here. You hear about all the cool stories. One day, one day, the one day happened.